Hi, everybody. Welcome to Goshen Prepping. Worst case scenarios, it's what we prep for. And I find one of the biggest problems with preppers specifically is they'll look at this direction or this direction and look at just maybe two or three different worst case scenarios and prepare for those only. Oh no, there are so many different worst case scenarios that we have to be prepared for or contemplate to make us more successful preppers. So I came across an article. It's very interesting because it has a lot of stuff in there I never would have thought of. And I am a professional prepper. I'm sure there's some things you didn't think of either. So let's go through these 24 things and stay with it, guys. Take notes because we need to be ready for all situations, not simply just the one, two, three, or four that you think of. And a very interesting article, 24 worst case scenarios that preppers, you know what? We're not preparing for these. Number one, biological threats. Of course, we'll usually get food, water, et cetera. But when we see biological disasters, it's something that, you know, I find a lot of people don't prepare for this. They're saying bioterrorism specifically, but it doesn't have to be. Biological threats simply may be you trying to get water from your stream to be able to drink and there's biological agents in there. Now, granted, they're leaning more toward biological attacks. And yeah, that's something you need to consider. Consider having a decontamination area, have a mask. A lot of people are kind of scared about this and kind of like feelers in the dark, hoping that it doesn't happen. Number two, an extended economic crisis. Honestly, we talk about this all the time, prepare for a crash. And I talk about different things to prepare for this. Like I always talk about gold backs. You can link below if you want to look at those. I talk about them all the time though. But it's not just having gold or gold backs. There's all kinds of things that you could barter with from silver, obviously, canned food, people's vices. Be prepared because understand our fiat currency is not going to stick around. Number three, multiple infrastructure failure. Simply put, our supply, transport, and communications can all go down. How are you prepared for that? Do you have enough water? Do you have enough food? Do you have all those things in case our transportation infrastructure disappears or grocery stores have no food anymore? How will you fare? An EMP attack? We've certainly talked about this quite a bit. Do you have a Faraday cage? Are you prepared in case, literally, the EMPs take out all your power? You know, we have solar generators. I have these giant, what are called mango solar power generators that can literally power my entire home. I'll link those two obviously below. We have other videos for all these things too, but you want to make sure you have power. It's not simply just to keep lights on anymore, but to keep heat circulating in your house or keep your fridge, fridges and freezers going, obviously important. Civil unrest, absolutely. In fact, yesterday's video, we addressed this a little bit. Lack of law enforcement. I've talked about this many times. You need to be able to protect yourself physically, fit, martial arts, et cetera, but obviously have a firearm, but don't just have a firearm. You need to drill and train and practice with that firearm extensively. This is an interesting one. Super volcanoes, absolutely. And even if you're not in a super volcano area, the volcanic ash can make it so we have cloud cover decreasing the temperatures and you have to be able to keep warm in times when normally you wouldn't have to. Pandemics, certainly there's lots of weird ones coming around. Hazardous material release. We've talked about the train in Ohio. Do you have some kind of gas mask or hazmat suit to prepare for this? An AI takeover. I've addressed this many times on the channel. People who know AI say this is coming. And so therefore I probably should be prepared for this. But I find a lot of people don't want to think about this one for some reason. I'm not sure why. An asteroid impact. Research. There are some things heading our way that very well may hit us. Research Apophis and see what you come up with that. Garbage and pollution. Obviously, you have to worry about this, especially your own sanitation in your own home if you're cut off. Deoxygenation. They're talking about specifically massive fish die-offs, and that's true. Marine ecosystems. They say consider oxygen tanks or air filtration systems for your home in case you have a decrease in oxygen. It's always good to think outside the box, but honestly, this one, I say it's not likely. An air filtration system, perhaps, but I don't see our oxygen levels dropping. A gamma ray burst. Prepare for this one. How? You can't. You will fry. So you know what? Just ignore this one. Polar shifts. Oh, this is actually happening, by the way. Our poles are shifting. This is not hyperbole or speculation. They are. It's the ramifications of that shifting is what's up for question. Lots of channels, people talk about this. I always say to prepare as best you can by prepping, but always take it with a grain of salt when a lot of these channels say that it's going to be nothing but catastrophe. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. I don't think any of us really know. Violent gangs for certain. For certain, for certain, you want to make sure you prepare for this because the gangs are not simply just you being out in town, you know, trying to stay in the shadows or be gray men. They may be coming to your home. Lots of problems with this. So people get hungry and when people get hungry, they get violent. So gangs, a very real possibility. An alien invasion. And I don't think they're talking about like illegal aliens coming up. And people have given me such a hard time by having some alien stuff up there. This is from a show called The X-Files. This is something I got for my birthday. Guys, we're not turning 
Goshen prepping into an alien channel. It's just fun green lights. Calm down. But as far as alien invasion, you know, if we want to consider all possibilities, it is a very real possibility. Lots of stars out there. I'm sure there's probably life on those other stars too. And maybe they like corned beef hash just as much as we do. Your polar ice caps melting. It's certainly something to consider. It will make some areas along the coast go underwater, that's for sure. Wildfires, we certainly need to look at this one. Especially like for us, we live out in the middle of a forest, in the middle of nowhere. Wildfires is a very real possibility. And understand when that happens, it'll make your power go down. And even if you had your power up and you have your hose out there, the heat from those trees burning and escalating, causing what's called a super fire, will engulf your, ho your house in no time. You know, so if you ever have to bug out, this may be one of the reasons, but we're heading into a time when there's a lot of drought going on anyway. Wildfires will probably be on the increase, something to think about. Extreme weather events, always something to look at. Even in your area, make sure you know what kind of weather events can take place where you're at. Prolonged isolation. I know there's a lot of lone wolf preppers out there. This guy is not one of them. I am such an extrovert. I love people. I have to have people. And honestly, this is my nightmare scenario. I do not like isolation. How about you? Are you one of those isolationist people who like isolation? I must have people around and talk with people. And for me, if my entire family died off and were killed, I'd be like, I have no reason to keep prepping because I prep for my family. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I'd like to see what you think about that. Soil degradation. Obviously, we have problems with drought and farming, not to mention our food supply is under attack anyway. So that's something that will certainly make it so our food has become very insecure. Nuclear disasters. Yeah, that's something we talk about all the time. I'll link after this, my nuclear prepping series. It has lots of true, you know, no wives tales, expert advice on how to prepare nuclear wise. Something to look at. I'll link after this video. And finally, cyber attacks. Also a very real possibility. And it's a very real possibility. If you look at the majority of things we just talked about, cyber attacks can do this. And people who are experts in the cyber attack area say this is a very real threat and real possibility. It can easily disrupt our infrastructure, which will cause all these other problems too. So 24 things to think about. And I hope there's a couple things on here that kind of jog your brain to make you think, because that's the key. You can't prep for just a couple of things. You need to prep and think about all contingencies and be adaptable. Thanks for watching, everybody, and check out our nuclear series.